Good afternoon. We want to look at yet another important issue and indeed sometimes a challenge to young scholars and students when it comes to issues of research or writing academic papers. And this is the issue of citations and making references on the literature that we have used in our work. So our focus is on how to cite and reference sources of literature. In previous discussions about literature and literature review, we observed that there are several sources of literature. They include books, journal articles, newspapers, magazines, dissertations, among others. Of course, even internet is also a major source of literature. So it is a requirement that we properly cite and reference the literature that we have used. Again, different sources of literature might require to be referenced differently. And this is what we want to look at today. So I want to welcome you to this lecture where we want to look at how we cite and reference the various sources of literature that we may use in our work. <clears throat> Let me begin by providing a general overview of what citation is and what is normally cited and the various guidelines that have been provided when it comes to citation and even referencing. We want to understand a citation as a reference to the source of information that is used in research and which applies any time a researcher makes a quotation, paraphrases some work, or summarizes uh, the works or essential elements of the works of other peoples. Items that are normally cited include facts, figures, ideas, or other information which is not common knowledge. Facts, for instance, can be a definition of an issue, it can be a statistic, say, the level of poverty as given by different organizations or institutions. Uh, figures uh, can be instances, for instance, where we want to cite maps, we want to cite graphs, and we want to cite tables that have been used by others. Ideas can be in form of explanations that some scholars have given. Such ideas could be theories, like when we talk about sociological theories, those propositions in each theory, those are ideas. Or they may just be explanations that scholars have used to explain certain things. So all these, they constitute uh, works that we can cite when we are writing our technical papers or researches. Again, we can cite from books. It could be a chapter in a book, especially books that are edited. They could be articles, they could be web pages, and many more. We also need to observe that different disciplines or subject disciplines 
have developed specific criteria to be used when citing their work. And some of these include MLA, which stands for Modern Languages Association, and this format or criteria is largely used in languages and humanities related disciplines. We have again another one that we call APA, which in full is American Psychological Association. This one is largely used in social sciences, subjects such as sociology, community development, psychology, and other social science disciplines. Then you have Chicago, again, which is used largely in humanities, subjects such as history, religion, geography, among others. Now, with regard to our case, we are going to focus on APA because APA is the most recommended mode of citation or format of citation in most of the social science disciplines, especially sociology, psychology, community development, criminology, among others. So the discussion that we are going to have will focus strictly on APA. Maybe at some other time in future, I may also come up with some other slides on MLA, as well as the Chicago. But for the moment, let us focus on APA and see how the guideline is. So we are going to look at each source of literature, examine the items that must be included in the citation, and then we see how such items are normally referenced. Uh, when it comes to citations, citations can come in two main forms. We have what we call paraphrasing, and then we have what we call direct quotations. So I want us to start with paraphrasing. When we talk of paraphrasing, we simply mean a researcher or a student or a scholar using other people's ideas, but uh, injecting certain words so that the ideas that are used, they are not lifted the way they are in the primary text where they were obtained. And therefore, it requires the researcher to include the author in your publication at the beginning or at the end of the information. So when you talk of paraphrasing, we mean we are using somebody's ideas. But as we do so, we are not quoting the person verbatim. We are simply using the ideas and mixing it with, with our own ideas, but still conveying the message that the original author intended to convey. So there are two main formats of citing work in our texts when we adopt the paraphrasing method. The first case is when the author and the year in which the work that we are using was published comes at the beginning of what we are paraphrasing. And then the second example is when the author and the year of the work that we are using was published comes at the end. For example, example one in our case is where the author and the year the work was published comes first. So that we can say, Kamau in bracket 2023 argues that tribalism plays a critical role in the choice of presidential candidates in Kenya. This is example one, where the author and the publication of the work we are using comes first. In the second example, the author and the year publication comes last. So that we can say, tribalism plays a critical role in the choice of presidential candidates in Kenya. 
in bracket Kamau 2023. What we need to notice here is that when we start with the author and the year of publication, then it is only the year of publication that is put in bracket. But if we start with the work and then we, we put the name of the author at the end of the sentence, then both the author and the year the work was published are all both put in the bracket. So that is the major significant difference. When you talk about first case, the author first and year, and then the second case, the, uh, the author and the publication coming at the end of the sentence. One thing that I want to observe is that sometimes it's, it's expected of us to use variety of methods so that we don't necessarily depend on one method. So that in some cases, you start with the author. In some cases, you end with the author. It becomes important for that uh, format and it becomes a uh, 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 even more presentable when we vary the kind of styles and formats that we employ. Uh, the other type of citation is called direct quotations. And in direct quotation, it means that we are using the works of other people the way they are used without changing any sentence, any comma, or anything. We are basically lifting what we have and transferring it in our work. Uh, the direct quotation, again, uh, can be of two types. We have what we call short direct quotation and long direct quotation. Uh, in both cases, whether we are taking long or short quotations, a researcher is required to include the author of the work, the year when the work was published, and the page numbers where the information we are quoting was obtained from. And then we're also required to put the work that we have used under quotation marks. Let's look at a short direct quotation, what it is and how it looks like. In a short quotation, we are basically using the words but placing them in a sentence and a quotation is described as short if it does not go beyond two sentences it is one sentence rather it is one line or two lines if a quotation goes beyond two lines then we cannot call it a short quotation. It is short if it is one line and two lines. That is not more than two lines. So in that case, we start, we quote what we want to use and put that entire quotation under quotation marks. For example, this is a quotation from a book written by an author called Wanjala. The work was published in the year 2022. And what we want to use, the quotation we want to use is found in page 92 of that book. So we are going to say, expectant mothers fear visiting clinics for antenatal care due to negative attitude of healthcare personnel, especially nurses towards them. So this is what Wanjala has said in his, in his book. So we have obtained this formation from his book in page 22. So we are going to have 
that entire quotation put under quotation marks and then at the end we have the works the author the year of publication and the page number in bracket so we have wanjala comma <coughs> 2022 semicolon page 92 we can put this the author and the year of publication plus the page at the end of the quotation or before the quotation just like the case with the paraphrasing so that is to do with short quotation then we have long quotation where we have uh, we again treat the we again quote the work and put the quoted work under quotation marks but the difference here is that we use what we call parenthesis parenthesis implies that we write the quoted work some space inside from the line and also before the line maybe the example given here might not be quite accurate especially with regard to towards the end of the line i was not able to create an indent otherwise it should be uh, some few inches inside and some few inches before the end of the line before the the, 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 the end margin so you must write it basically at the center of the page some inches inside from the uh, from the margin and again before the margin so we have for example according to Mutua the work is 2019 and this is a quotation participation of citizen in the planning designing execution and monitoring of development projects is essential not only for their success but also their sustainability however it is noted that many county governments do not have structures that can be used to tap citizen skills and expertise in development project so that is what we want to use in our work and we have lifted it directly the way the author has used it so we are going to put the name of the author at the end so that we have mutua the work was published in 2019 and it is found in page 48 of Mutua's work. So that is what we mean by direct quotation, both short quotation and long direct quotation. So let's look at how we reference the work that is at the end of what we call end of text referencing. What we have so far discussed is how we cite the work uh, within the text. When we are using people as the ideas, how do we present it? Now, it's expected that every work that a researcher has used must be referenced at the end of the text. And I noted earlier that we can use literature from different sources books, articles, among others. So I want us to, I want to take you through how we reference works based on the sources it has been obtained or based on where it has been obtained. The first case is book. How do we reference works at the end of, how do we reference, do we, do we reference a book whose work we have used in our text there are certain elements that must be included when you are making when you are referencing a book the first element is the author and normally it is the last name of the author and then we put initials only for the first and middle names and then we put the date when the work was published or what you call publication date. Then after that, we state the title of the book in italics, 
we capitalize only the first word of title and subtitle and also we use proper names then the last thing that we do we write the name of the publisher the organization or the company that published the book and this one we do and we don't mention the location of the publication company or the publisher so we have examples here of a referenced work from an entire book or a chapter within a book that is edited so the first case is where we are referencing a work from the entire book and we want to reference a work that is authored by several people so the authors are Onyango, Kamau, Mutuku, and Ryoba. So like we say, you mention the last name, the other names are initialized. So we have Onyango J, Kamau C, Mutuku M, and Ryoba N. In bracket 2020, that is the time the work was published. And then the title of the book, Politics of Ethnicity in Kenya. It is a third edition, and then it is published by Lake Victoria Inc. So that is a case in which we're using a work from an entire book. But sometimes we might want to use a work from a chapter within a book that is edited. So here we start with the book. The, rather the chapter and the author so we have uh, Winnie PH in bracket 2001 that's when the book was published then the title of that chapter self-regulated learning viewed from models of information pros processing in JB Zimmerman and DH uh, Shunak edition self-regulated learning and the academic achievement so that is the title uh, 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 of the work that we are using and then the pages page one rather page 160 to 192 and then the publisher which is lawrence uh, eribam associates we can also reference a work if we used the dictionary assuming for instance we used miriam webster dictionary so we write the name of the dictionary uh, and then we list the other titles as indicated there so this is as far as book referencing is concerned i want us to look at the other one the other one is articles how do we uh, 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 reference articles and an article can be from a magazine it can be from a newspaper it can be from a journal so how do we reference this again we have the author then those are the elements, the author, the last name, and initials of the other names, the date of publication of the article, the year and month for articles or magazines that are published monthly, and those other details. Then you have the title of the article, which is capitalized on the first word, then we have the name of the journal or the magazine or the newspaper. Then we include the volume number in italics, the issue number if given, and the page numbers where the article is found, either in the journal article, in the magazine, or in the newspaper. So we have some few cases there. One is an article from a magazine an article from a magazine and the first case we have Wafula K 2023 
meaning that magazine was published in the year 2023 in the month and it covered the month of May and June. Then the title of the article that we're using in our work, which in this case is what makes a happy marriage, couples share their experiences. The name of the magazine is called The Family and it is issue number 40 of that year. And that article is found in page 18 to page 21 in that particular magazine. The other example is a journal, rather is, is an article from a newspaper. Again, the author is Ocheng M. The year is 2023. And it is a newspaper that was produced in the month of August. Then the title of the article, University Students Threaten Street Protests Over Delayed Government Grants. That is the title of the article, in the newspaper that we're using. Then the name of the newspaper, it is called Comrades, is the name of the newspaper. Then the pages where that particular article is found in the newspaper. It is page five to page six. The last example of article is an article from a journal, an article from a journal. So that we have like example, Blanta J and Baki Lupo A. The work was, is, was published in 2007. The title of the journal is Using emotional intelligence to develop executive leadership and team and organization organization development. That is the that is the, 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 the title of the article that we are using. Then we put the title of the journal. The name of the journal is Consulting Psychology Journal, Practice and Research. The issue number, the pages where the article is found is from page 209 to 219. And then we put the URL number of the article if it is provided. If it's not, if it's not provided, then we don't have to put it. So that is as far as articles are referenced. It could be from a newspaper. It could be from a journal, that's the way they are referenced. Then we want to look at how we reference information obtained from web, web pages. Again here, we have certain elements that must be part of the reference. For example, we have the author. Again, we follow the same procedure the year when that article when when that information was placed again the page title that is the page title the way the at the name of the of, of the of the, the the title of the article and the name of the sponsor that is the site the website if it's available then the day we accessed that article the month and the year. Then we also have to include the URL number or internet address. This one, it is placed in a bracket. So I have two examples there of references. One is Asmelash I L rather 2019, August 14th. Social media use may harm teens, mental health by dis disrupting positive activities, as study says. And then we include the other details. Then we can also have an article from a website of an organization. For instance, an organization such as World Health Organization. So here is a case. So we have the name of the organization, which is World Health Organization, the year in which that article was published, the month, the, 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 the month, 
when it was published and the date then the title of the article which is the de de depression and then we include what we include the url number or the internet address of that particular website so that is how we reference again sources of literature or literature that's obtained from website from individual publisher and from organizational publisher Then sometimes we might also want to reference information that's obtained from a TV series. TV series. Because we say even TV and talk shows and the rest, movies can also be source of literature. Literature can be audio, it can be written, it can be audio, or it can be video. So this is the one case. So what are the elements that must be included in the reference? One is the producer the date of the broadcast and the title of the series. We have the format and also the production company. Uh, there are two instances here. Maybe we want to quote the entire series or an episode within the larger series. So I provided two examples here. One is the TV series and then the other example is an episode within the series. So if we are referencing a series as a whole, then we have Crane, D, Kaufman, M, and Bright K, executive producer. That's now the names of the producer. And then the date. That is 1994-2001. That's when that series was aired. A whole 10 years. Then the title of the series is Friends. The TV series, Bright Kaufman slash Kaufman slash Crane Productions, Warner Bros. That is how we reference an information that's obtained from a TV series. But we might also use or just be interested in an episode within the series. If that's the case, then this is what we have. Again, we start the producer or, 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 or the writer, so that we have Git Lesson E as director and Brown C as writer of that particular series. Then it was aired, it was, it, it was produced in 1995, but aired on October 12th. 12th. And the title of the series of that particular episode is the one with the five stakes and an eggplant, season two, episode four, TV series episode. In Crane, that is now the entire series, the name of the entire series. In Crane D, Kaufman, M, and Bright K, executive producer. The name of the series, Friends, and those then that are the details. So that is how we reference an episode, a TV, a, a TV series episode within from the larger TV uh, series. Then the other reference that I want us to look at how it is done is how do we reference information obtained from a video or a film? So how do we, do we reference it? Again, we have the elements that must be included, which includes director, date of release, and the title. The title, we have to put it in italics, the format, and then the studio. This is fairly easy. So what we have in terms of reference is the name of the director, which is now Johnston J, in bracket director, the date of release, which is 2004, and then uh, the title of the video or film, which is Hidalgo in bracket film, then the studio or the, the, the way it was recorded, Touchstone Stroke Disney. So that is how we reference uh, a video or a film which we used as our source of literature.
Then there are instances where you might, be, you might also be required to use a map. We have used a map maybe in our study, and now we want to reference that map. So how do we reference the map? Again, there are certain elements that we must be in, that we must include in our references. Author's last name, date of content creation or publication. That is when the map was was uh, uh, created or published. The title of the content or the title of the map in atalized form, the format, and other details. The publisher of the map also included. So in terms of references, the example that we have is this. Ashman J, 1830, map of the west coast of Africa from Sierra Leone to Cape Palmas, including the colony of Liberia, in bracket map. So that's what we have. Then where was it published? Philadelphia, Finley, then we now put the URL number, which is HWT and that entire information, that's now the, the number where it was obtained. So that is how we reference maps. So at that point, we have discussed all the issues pertaining to citations and referencing from different sources. Thank you so much for your time.